Hello everybody. Welcome to Spurt Commerce Guide. In this video, I will walk you through the feature of blogs, uh, how it works in Spurt Commerce. Uh, so blogs are important for e-commerce portal because uh, you can write blogs in such a way that it can be search engine friendly and uh, when you introduce highly searchable keywords in your blog articles and when somebody searches for uh, uh, like information about that a particular keyword then your blog article can pop up and uh, navigate them to the to the e-commerce portal and uh, the other uh, reason why you can have a uh, blogs on e on your e-commerce portal is so uh, to uh, provide information useful information to your customers okay so let us look at how this particular block feature uh, works in spot commerce and uh, so this is the admin control panel and admin uploads the blog articles through this panel from the cms section okay and uh, and customers can view those blog articles on the uh, storefront uh, in the blog section. OK, let's let's uh, look at the flow here. OK, I will go to to upload a blog article. I'll go to manage blogs. So we have block categories and blocks. So block category is basically given to, you know, so that you can uh, categorize your articles. Uh, into different, uh, you know, category names like this. So I'll just add a category name. Let's say title is required. Okay. Uh, let's say uh, Apple laptops. So this can be one of the block categories. Okay. And I activate it. Now uh, let us upload a blog article. Okay. So go to blogs, create blog. So a title. Uh, so I have the blog article with the title ready and upload it okay. so we categorize it uh, so the topic is uh, women's clothing trends so related to that okay i choose the category then slug We give the description. Okay. And then we upload a picture for this blog article. Okay, I've uploaded a picture. Yeah, any related blog article. Suppose you have uh, other blog articles related to this topic or similar topics you can add them so that you can navigate your customer to other blog articles also then basically after providing all these information you save the blog article and once you save the blog article uh, it will get listed in the here in the list list of blog articles that you have already uploaded and you can always edit the blog article here we have given the option of editing and also if you do not want a blog article anymore we can just delete it and where will your customers view the blog articles here in the storefront okay go to the blog section and you see the blog articles are listed here they can click on a blog article sorry yeah here they can click on a blog article and read the content uh, this is how the block feature works in spot commerce. Uh, we will walk you through more such features. Uh, stay tuned with us. Thanks for watching.